basics of VCAD A2 Plus assembly and animation. Create a new file. Save it as piston assembly. Add a part to top of the connecting wall. Add another part to the bottom of the connecting wall. Select the upper part of the connecting wall. Then right click to show the menu. Select transform and move the parts. Select the circular edge of the hole. Hold the control key and select the circular edge of the hole at the bottom. Then add circular edge constraints. Click the degree of freedom icon. The top part is fixed. But the degree of freedom for the bottom part is 1. Select the upper part and right click to show the menu. Select transform to move the parts. Select the circular edge at the other end. Hold the control button and select the circular edge at the bottom part. Add circular edge constraint. Check the degree of freedom and both parts are fixed. Click the degree of freedom icon again to remove the labels. Switch to Fasteners Webbench to add screws. Select the screw and use Transform to move it. This is a M6 screw. Change the length to 28mm. Add a new screw. It is a M6 screw and change the length to 28mm. Move the screw and change the direction as the connecting wall. Do the same for other school. Move the schools closer to the connecting board for easier operation. Select the bottom surface of the school head. Hold the control button and select the surface of the counter ball hole. Switch back to A2 plus work branch. A piping go in certain constraint. Move the screw closer to the connecting wall. Select a circular edge at the screw. Then select a circular edge at the hole. Apply axis coincident constraint and accept. Do the same for the other screw.
a five pain called incident constraint. We can select the circular surface instead of the circular edge. Same for the hole. Then apply axis called incident constraint. Add another part for the pin. Rotate it perpendicular to the connecting wall. Select the circular edge of the pin and at the top of the connecting wall. Apply circular edge constraint. Offset the pin by 21 mm to put it at the middle. So this is a sub-assembly for the box engine. Then close the file for later use. Create a new file and save it as boxer assembly. Open the combo view panel and the Python console. Switch to A2 Plus and add parts the shaft. And then add the parts for the housing. Rotate the housing to match the shaft so it is easier for the operation. Select the circular edge as indicated. Then hold the control button and select the circular edge at the housing as indicated. Then apply circular edge constraint. Add the parked piston assembly. Select the piston assembly and create a duplicate. Rotate the assembly to match the shaft. Select the circular edge at the connecting rod. Hold the control button and select the circular edge at the shaft. And then apply circular edge constraint. Add the parked piston. Duplicate one more. Rotate the piston to match the pin. Select the circular edge at the hole of the piston. Hold the control button and select the circular edge of the pin. And apply axis called incident constraint. Select the top circle of the piston and the cylinder. Then apply axis called incident constraint. Now rotate the other piston assembly to match the shaft.
Select the circle edge of the pin and the circular edge of the hole at the piston. Apply axis coincident constraint. Select the top circle of the cylinder and the piston. And apply axis coincident constraint. Move the housing up a little bit so it is easier to select the shaft. Select the circular edge at the shaft and the circular edge at the connecting wall as indicated. And apply circular edge constraint. Select the housing and change the transparency to 70. The position of the shaft is fixed. Change it to force so we can rotate the shaft. Select the housing and change the fixed position to true. Now we can move the parts under constraint. The shaft can be rotated and move the piston. Or we can move the piston to rotate the shaft. We can also use a simple macro to do the animation. Save the file and then close all. We open the file, Boxer Assembly. Open the macro window. Create a new macro. Enter the file name, also Boxer Assembly. Go to the figure file, select the shaft, then go to edit and send to Python control. Copy these two lines to the macro window. The first line is to get the FICAT document. The second line is to get the object. Define it as the shaft. Select the shaft and expand the axis. The axis is C, which will be used for rotation. So line number V in the macro is used to define the axis for rotation. X is 0, Y is 0, and Z is 1. The fourth line set up a condition. If the command is a start, then the macro will run. So enter start in the command column. The line number five is to increase the angle by 0 0.4 radian each time. Go to figure file. Select the shaft. Expand the pacement. Increase the angle and you can see the shaft is rotating. Go back to the FICAD file. Click the Solve Constraint button. Copy the command from the Python console and paste it in the macro. So it solves the constraint every time when the angle is increased. The line number 7 is to update the data. 
go back to the free cat file. When the macro box are assembly. When I delete the command, the macro will end. Try it again, end the start and run the macro. If you find this video interesting, please subscribe and give it a like. I have another video using assembly 4 to run the animation. You can follow the link in the description to see the video. Thank you for watching.